guys, I'm in my car. I just dropped off Tristan at preschool and got coffee and Adele is finally sleeping after not sleeping all night. She's getting her canine eye teeth. Oh, so we've not been sleeping. She's got boogers and it's just miserable. So she's asleep and I'm not moving her. I'm not touching her. I'm not doing anything. Cause it's nice to have some quiet. Oh, so nice. And the sun is nice and warm. And I've got coffee, so I'm happy. But I kind of wanted to do my first rant and just kind of. So, I wanted to kind of tell you guys about what kind of work I do outside of being a stay-at-home mom. So, I am a CNA, Certified Nursing Assistant, and I've worked in nursing homes for a long, long time, um, starting in high school, and it's, you know, at first I thought, oh, I wanted to be a nurse, or something even more than a nurse or go into radiology or something like that and that was kind of always what I thought I was going to do growing up is be in the medical field and um, I working as a CNA I realized how much I'm meant to take care of people that's just who I am what I'm supposed to do in some way I'm meant to be taking care of people at home I take care of my kids and my husband. I go to work and I take care of my clients. So um, after working in the nursing homes for a while and having Tristan and deciding that I just really needed to get out of nursing homes, it's too hard. You can't give the people the care they deserve. You get walked all over and it's just awful. So I decided to go over to home health care. And so I've been doing that since Tristan was about a year. And um, right now I have a couple different clients and um, just work on the weekend. So I work like Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night. And I um, basically just help people up in the morning and get them going, and get them ready for their day. And then I go back at night and do their night care, get them ready for bed, and get them settled in for the night. Um, so it's really nice that I'm only gone for a couple hours at a time. Saturday and Sunday mornings are a little longer because I do like three visits. So I have my first visit at 5.30, and then I get home at 11, 11.30. So, you know, the kids are sleeping until like 8, so I'm really only missing a couple hours of their day. And... Um, you know, it's nice with breastfeeding. I only had to pump until Adele was about, well, I only had to pump for uh, bottles for her to have while I was away until she was about seven months because by then she was okay. She got used to the schedule and she was fine to wait that long. And it was so nice for me that I didn't have to stress about having um, milk for her and I didn't have to stress about pumping and leaving her for too long and so it worked out really nice um so now I just got an opportunity to kind of switch my schedule around my main client is um he's my age he's 23 and he's a quadriplegic and a veteran and he's a great guy and you know he I consider him one of my best friends now I've been working with him for over two years now and he's always been my main client I do him Friday through Sunday and I've even like picked up Wednesdays now because he just he didn't have anybody to come in so you know my heart breaks for these people and I truly care about him they're truly my family and my friends and I care about them so much and I do get walked on and I do get taken advantage of but my heart just cares so much for these people that sometimes I don't really mind that um, so this opportunity came and he's going to be doing pool therapy on Mondays and so he needs somebody who can um, drive him help with transfers and 
that type of thing, and then help them with like a late lunch and getting settled back in at home. So it would be from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock on Mondays. Now if I did this, then I would cut out my early morning visits on Saturdays and Sundays, and my late night visits on Saturdays, Sunday, and Fridays. So by doing this, it would mean later mornings for me, which I'm all for because I am not a morning person. Waking up before 5 a.m. to go to work sucks. Really sucks when I don't even get home from work until 11.30 and then feed Adele and take a shower and put some food in my stomach so I'm not starving at 5 a.m. And, you know, I get to bed at midnight, 1 o'clock, and then I have to wake up before 5 o'clock and still wake up who knows how many times with Adele in the middle of the night. So it's draining, so draining for me. By the time Monday comes around, all I want to do is lay in bed all day, and that's like our family day where Brennan and I both have off, and we can't even do anything because I'm so exhausted. And all Adele wants to do is cluster feed because she's missed me on the weekend. So it's just like awful. I hate these hours right now. It's nice to be home a lot, but it really, I mean, it, it doesn't even matter because I just don't even want to do anything because I just have to lay on the couch and then Adele just wants to feed all the time. So that's all we do on Saturday and Sundays is like lay around and nurse and it drives me nuts because I just hate being like confined in the house. It drives me nuts. The bad thing about doing this is right now Mondays are the only days that Brendan and I have off together. So it's our family day. We go, you know, if we're going to go to the zoo, that's the day that we can drive down to Denver and go to the zoo. Um, It's, you know, we try to do like grocery shopping or make a fun day out of it and go do something with the kids all together. If I did this, we wouldn't have that day. Yes, we would have um, more time Saturday and Sundays, but it wouldn't be like a full day. Um, so I'm trying to decide what to do and Brendan is going to kind of see if he can play with his schedule. He just got a small promotion. Um, so he's like over more departments and his hours are a little more flexible. They don't want him to do like seven to four each time he comes in. They want him to do some evening shifts and, um, be flexible with what days he can come in. So one week he can have Saturday, Sunday off. One week he can have Monday, Tuesday off. So the thing is, he would have to have Monday off to be with the kids because we don't do any kind of daycare. We don't have any babysitters, anything like that. So, you know, if I'm going to be at work, Brendan's going to be home. And if Brendan's going to be at work, I'm going to be home. And that sucks for us as a couple, we never have time together unless it's like nine o'clock and the kids are finally in bed. And by that time we want to be in bed, but you know, we understand that right now it's what we have to do and that's okay. And you know, but it just, it's hard. We don't, I don't know what to sacrifice. Do I sacrifice my sleep? Do I sacrifice that one family day? I don't know what to do and you know it's hard because I have to stop doing some of these visits for these people that I've become really good friends with and really care about and that's hard how do I tell this person that I've been with for over a year that hey I'm gonna have to stop doing your visits And I know I really shouldn't feel like that. It's a job. It's, you know, there's plenty of other CNAs in the agency that can take over that they know and they're fine with. But it just, it makes me feel awful. And I know Brennan keeps telling me that that's just silly. Especially because one of the the early, early morning visit just completely takes advantage of me. Because he knows that I can't say no. He knows that I've got too big of a heart. That I just, if he needs something done and he trusts me to do it, I will do it. Even if that means I'm staying over 20 minutes. And technically I shouldn't be because I shouldn't be getting paid for those 20 minutes. And so I kind of fudge my hours so that I say I'm only there 10 minutes over instead of 20 minutes over. And really that's cutting my pay and it's not fair to me and it's extra work. And um, I don't know. It's just so hard. I don't know what to sacrifice. I don't know what to do. 
Um, you know, after Christmas, we think Brennan's going to be having a new job um, because he'll be finished with all of his training and um, uh, apprenticeship stuff. But, oh, my poor baby. Um, so we might have to might have to stop here but so I just don't know I don't know what to do give me some insight working moms part-time working moms how do you do it what do you do what's your schedule what do you sacrifice we're always sacrificing things as moms so what do you have to sacrifice what's your opinion on my sacrifices oh just tell me tell me the answer somebody fix my life fix my schedule